electric scooter and mounting a jet engine on the back just like that because even though this thing is ridiculously fast the way it sits i am genuinely curious to see how crazy and insane this scooter feels under jet power it looks pretty sick i've ridden a lot of scooters they're pretty weak compared to this this thing is an absolute beast all-wheel drive all-terrain tires hydraulic disc brakes front and rear keypad lock once i rode it i was like man this thing is so much fun <laughs> Well, that was a struggle, but I made it up that climb. That was like a 40 degree. That's how steep that was in about a 50 foot climb. I put this thing in two wheel drive and uh, zero start mode, which means it applies power from a stop. Up I went. This thing even helped me climb. That was pretty cool. Wow, this is gonna be great. If it's so perfect, it clicks right in. Here's where I'm at. I'm all done mounting the jet engine. Came out much better than I thought it would. This was a lot of design and fabrication work and I'm not done yet. I still have to design and fabricate the fuel tanks, hook up the fuel system, all the electronics, and then fire it up. This is the tubing that I'm gonna be using for the fuel tanks. It's three inch schedule 40 aluminum pipe. Scooter's all done. I think it came out pretty good. Everything's finished. I made the tanks. All the electronics are hooked up. It's uh, pretty much ready to go. The only thing I'm gonna do later is 3D print an enclosure for all the electronics and the throttle cable. I also added a DC to DC converter to take the voltage from the onboard battery and knock it down to a voltage that can be used to control the jet engine and all the electronics. So the only thing left to do is take it out, hit the road, see how it drives, and see how fast I can get it up to before I get scared. I just arrived at my first test location. I chose this sort of suburban ghetto neighborhood, if you will. I think it'll be a good ride. And I'm not really sure what to expect. This turbine has a lot of power and I've never ridden a jet powered scooter before. I was gonna bring my helmet, but of course I forgot it. I do have my gloves though. Let's see what happens.
legit oh just ran out of fuel right now oh that was great so I got up to like man this thing's just uh it's too fast like the brakes feel good but they're kind of grabby Whew, man it's a lot of fun that's for sure and it's it's a weird sensation it feels smoother than electric it just feels like somebody's pushing you like a cushion like on a cloud and you're just going faster and faster I didn't even feel like I was going 62 then once I see how fast the trees are passing me, I realize I'm going fast. I really had to lower my center of gravity to make those turns at that speed because man, it felt like I felt like the scooter wanted to go that way. And uh, definitely won't be trying this in go-kart mode with this jet engine. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head to that straightaway and see what kind of top speed I can get. And if you're wondering why I'm yelling, it's cause, oh man, there it goes, right there. Hearing protection, oh, now I can hear better. That's next, let's go. I'm here at my second location, which is a two mile long straightaway, really smooth. There's a couple of bumps here and there. I did stop in between and pick up my helmet. I'm just gonna start off on one end here, start the scooter up and just see how fast I can get either hitting the top speed or hitting a speed fast enough or I feel that it's unsafe. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Let's do it. And for this run, I'm gonna be running hydro diesel. I'm gonna leave links in the description below to this fuel as well as the scooter because uh, everybody asked me about this fuel that I use. I really like it because it burns super clean. There's no black smoke like the regular diesel. Even in the engine, it just smells cleaner. Umarım acelen yoktur. Ben seni almam için biraz zaman ihtiyacım var. Sorun değil. Sen işini hallederken ben de biraz...